day, I mean, kind of slight day to Monday, so I didn't really try really hard, but just got a Chicago Bulls, the Bull Egg Tea. Um, I actually got this from my homeboy behind the camera back in like 2018, so it's been a while. Um, just some just shorts, uh, Reeboks, nothing crazy, like I said, just, uh, just a Yankees hat. Uh, just got a Vivian Westwood necklace. Other than that, just playing, man. I'm not really trying to do too much today, so. I mean, ever since from, if, if y'all know, if we've been hyped goods on Guadalupe well, Street, it's been a while. But we've, it's been surreal, you know. It's, it's, it's a crazy feeling that we started from a little small location to what we have now, and you know, it's just really truly blessed to be, you know, where we're at now. And you know, I'm thankful for, you know, our customers are um, supporting us, and you know, it's, it's been it's been awesome. We've got the Kanye. This is graduation era. Um, this is crazy about this, it's still brand new, and you can get this at Hot Topic at the time, and you know, um, the quality on these shirts aren't really good, so they kind of deteriorate after a couple of wears and all that. After you wash them, they get very nasty, but it's cool to have something like this, because you know, you don't really see much of the, of the old Kanye stuff. Um, of course, my favorite, honestly, part of the whole shop is this whole uh, the Kanye stuff. Um, that's like from late registration, that's actual from late registration, so it's, it's pretty old. Uh, we got the tour, like Pablo. Um, even that pendant up there is from like that generation, that era, and you know, that's a pretty cool thing to see. We don't see much of it, so that's pretty cool. All right, so my next favorite piece is the, the Supreme box logos. So as you know, Supreme right now is not doing as hot as it used to be, but you know, growing up in that kind of era, you know, this still has kind of a sentimental value for me, especially the one that's something like this. You don't really see stuff like this as much. This is the Japan uh, box logo the, for the relief they had for the, I think it was Tsunami? I forget what year it was, but that was a cool one. Um, of course, this is the newer stuff. You know, I wish I still had like the older things, but you know, that's a little harder to find nowadays. But I feel like Supreme's gonna come back soon. So if I were y'all, buy some of this stuff now. We all have the chance. You no, know, we're in Texas, so you're gonna have to have a Selena. This is pretty cool. No back hit, but it's probably one of my favorite ones. I like the, how the red kind of pops out. Here in Texas, they're not as rare, just because you kind of do see them a lot. But when I go to like LA or something like that, they always have these super taxed up. So it's cool to be you know here in Texas because you know you can find something like this for pretty cheap. I mean, usually we kind of sell our Selena tees from like 100 bucks, like 200, depending on what it is. So I mean, I feel like it's pretty cool to come here and you know seeing stuff like this that you'd go somewhere else and be paying over like 300 bucks. All right, so this is going to be one of my other favorite pieces. It's going to be a Tupac bulldog tee. Um, you know. This is a staple in the vintage, you know, rap tees are, you know, what it is now. They're not as crazy as, as it used to be, but it's still a cool shirt to pick up. I mean, it's so crazy how, the, how it's just all over print. So my, pretty much my favorite thing is like Pokemon. I love Pokemon. So we have a couple of Pokemon tees here. Uh, I like to show off. And these are all adult sizes. So, you know, you rarely come across adult sizes Pokemon tees, but we have this one, we have that one, the Ash with Pikachu. This is probably my favorite one, and then we have the all over print. Um, this is sick, adult size. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't wear this too much because it's too, this is too out, too out there. So, but this is a cool one. I like this a lot. Uh, I'm not wearing anything special today. I'm wearing a vintage Hell Freezes Over Eagles tour shirt. Um, and just some thrifted jeans and platform Crocs that are extremely dirty. Yeah, it's been a great experience so far. I had a rack up at Hyped Goods, I would say like six months, and it did really good, but now that I have my own spot, you can kind of get a grasp of who we are and what we do. One of my favorite pieces in here, orange tab reworked skirt. So I just think this is so cool. If it fit me, I'd probably keep it. I found this at the flea market, actually. So, uh, yeah, orange tabs are always a, a good brand to get. I've been in the vintage business for about like a year and a half, so there's still things that I'm learning. I think you can always learn uh, if you're in here. But yeah, just looking for 
unique items that you know you've never seen before and if they're old that's even better i just go after things that i would pick for my own home as far as pricing them and figuring that out it's kind of just doing a lot of research but the older they are the better it is uh, but also it doesn't even really depend on the price or really matter it's just what you feel is cool and eclectic and really just brings out your own personal style uh, I just got this in it's a vintage piece from the 50s actually um, you can kind of tell by the tags and it's you know handmade it's really cool like the pieces that we get in are really unique um, and also Again, it's not really about the price or what you get them for. It's really just the history that comes with it. And then once you put it on, you're bringing it to life. So uh, I would say like my favorite thing about even owning this store or selling the clothes is seeing the actual items come to life. Like you see them on the hanger and you're like, oh, those are so cool. Those are so pretty. But then once you see it on someone, it just changes the whole game and it I don't know it makes you really proud of the work that you do honestly at first it was really scary and kind of intimidating because there's not a lot of girls well there actually is a lot of girls in the vintage game but not in collaboration with the vintage that hyped goods in the warehouse do so a little intimidating but also very welcoming and it also just broadens the target audience and the people that you know can come in here we really want to make sure that this is you know, all three of our shops collaboratively invite everybody, you know, and it's just an experience. So come in, look at our stuff. I'm sure there's something you can find, but even if not, just to see all of the work and the years, it's been 10 plus years for some of us into this. So it's really cool to see everything that we put together. Oh, little fit check. Got this little beat up cowboy bebop tee. Got this at the flea market a couple years ago. Um, some Dickies, cargos. Uh, screen printed on by AWOL. AWOL made these. Got a little bit of the pocket action. Uh, and some union ones. Now, I'm not from here. From Hawaii. Moved out here like right when the pandemic started, March 9, 2020, uh, with the main goal in opening a store out here. A little cubby hole section, little nooks and crannies over here. Uh, it's a little culmination of like a bunch of my favorite shit. So we got like anime VHSs from cartoons from like my childhood, Dragon Ball Z. There's like Sailor Moon, Hantaro's in here, Pokemon, uh, stuff like that. We got some manga up here, some Shonen Jumps that I've collected over the time, uh, some DVDs and shit, uh, my little CRT. I don't know, this is all just like collectible stuff and I kind of wanted to put everything here to have like a little interactive section so people can come read the mangas if they want. They can throw on a VHS if they want on the CRT. Me being the person I am, like I love anime, manga. This one is an Akira manga tee. Uh, you don't normally see the manga tees as much. You see a lot from like the movie. Uh, but yeah, this one, it's also yellow. You barely see that. Um, huge graphic. Yeah, you just don't normally see this one too much. I mean, so not only do I do like vintage, uh, we also carry like a wide selection of hype. Um, these are two of my favorite pieces that we have in store, uh, both original fake pieces, uh, which is a brand made by Cause back from like 2006 to 2013. Really short-lived brand. This one is a collab tee with Clot Fantasy and also this uh, model, I believe her name was Shuki. And then this one is like this little companion tee with the woman on, on it. Yeah, just like super rare, like nobody really has these out here. Like, not that I've seen, like original fake pieces, like mostly with Cause, you see like a lot of the Uniqlo stuff or like uh, the Fragment and Travis Scott stuff. But like these ones are a little standout, standalone pieces. Not too obscure, but I mean like everyone loves a good Selena tee. Uh, this one here with the big Selena print on the back. Yeah, we have like an ongoing like inside joke here at Hype Goods where like a lot of the Selena print she ends up looking like Cardi B one of them just a little but yeah nice little mullet two of them that you were looking at specifically we got the million youth march along with the where's the other one the million woman march this one's pretty common this one's pretty crazy too just because it's like dated uh it was set for september 2000 and everyone knows you know the year after that was september 11th uh, and this one's dated around the same time, just a year before, September 5th. It's got a picture of like the Twin Towers on there. I don't know. 
This one's pretty crazy. I mean, I don't really see this one too often, really. This might be the first one I've seen in a while. So these are probably the two most expensive shirts that I have in here. Uh, partially due to like sentimental value. I mean, like these are two of my personals that I've owned for years. Um, this is probably the first wrap tee I've ever owned. Got this one from uh, uh, the first vintage store I ever worked at over in Hawaii. It's called Harbors Vintage. Um, they come me a real good deal just because I, I work there. Um, and then this one, Tiger Woods Rap Team, the new Masters, first black champion. This one means a lot to me because not only is it the first black Masters champion, but also the first Asian American champion. Uh, so shout out Tiger Woods. But yeah, the graphic on this is crazy. Like most of the times when you see this, this uh, graphic, uh, it has, it's dry rot. This one's straight. This is my personal. I used to wear it all the time. Uh, you know, yeah, uh, we're located right here in Hype Goods 2021 San Pedro Avenue. Uh, open every single day from 12 to 7. Yeah, we're, uh, you can find me at warehouse.texas. So it's W E A R H O U S E dot T X. Uh, or my vintage page is Seeing Color Vintage S E A I N C O L O R Vintage. Dude, thank you so much for coming through. Honestly, you know, it's a blessing to have you out here. It's a blessing to have people like you just come and experience the spot with us. And yeah. And yeah, you can find us here at Hyped Goods on 2021 San Pedro Ave, San, San Antonio, Texas. Um, or follow us on Instagram at The Thrift Through. We have a lot of events coming up. We're working on um, ironing out the dates and stuff like that, but we will post them on our socials. So you can find us on San Pedro Street, 2402 San Pedro Avenue, here in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, we have a couple of events coming up. I don't have any details yet, but when we do, you'll be, we'll put it on Instagram uh, at HypeGoods underscore TX.